Okay, so we finally got Windows 10 at least partly installed, and um, it's so non-deterministic. I'd lo love to give a demonstration, but at this point, we're just going to proceed from where we are. But I'm going to at least show you what we had to do to get things started. For one thing, um, we have 16 gig of RAM, the DDR Corsair Vengeance, but we only have the 8 gig in there, and we have it in the DIM2 slot. We always had the DIM2 and the DIM4 used, but I took out the DIM4 slot, so we only have 8 gig of, of RAM in there. Also, I took out all of the USB connections. So all the USB connections are out. I took out the optical drive because we are using our USB flash drive for Windows 10. So this, this, this uh, is just not connected. It's not even powered up. So basically, there's no audio, there's no USB. It's really, all we're dealing with is the USB drive in the back on the motherboard, the 8 gig of RAM, the power connection in the fans, and the CPU, of course. So that's it. And we got past the extraction. Before we were, uh, we were always dying somewhere between 0 and 100% extraction. So I think the highest we got before was like 84, 85% with Windows 7. With Windows 10, I think we only got as high as maybe 44%. But just cutting everything down, so whether we have a, a bug with um, with our second uh, D, DRAM, um, I, I have no idea. So we haven't really run any diagnostics. We're, we're following the advice of um, MSI because we contacted them. And they basically just said, cut things down to the bare minimum and see if you can get things in installed. So basically, here we are. Um, we're ready to, uh, you know, just continue with Windows. Um, we wish we could show more, but I'm not quite daring enough to do it yet because at this point we just want to get this running. So um, at this point we're just going to say um, very likely the rest of the install will go smoothly, but we are going to continue to show you any potential glitches that pop up and, and how to work around it. But the main thing to remember here is if you do run into a problem like this where you're getting you know blue screens in Windows 7, or if you're getting spurious errors in Windows 10, cut everything down to the bare minimum. Only 8 gig of RAM, take out all your USB, disconnect your op optical drive if you're not installing from an optical drive, and that can cut down on the on the noise and get you a little, a little bit further. So that's it. Okay, so since we got the, the uh, Windows installed here without the optical drive, uh, and of course a few other components were disconnected like we only had the 8 gig of memory not the 16 and a number of the other uh, USB uh, connections are not uh, connected so we're going to go and connect reconnect the optical drive because we want to do the there's a number of drivers and utilities that come with them, the MSI motherboard we want to get those installed and we're doing this before we actually connect to the internet so we're not getting the updates so if there's any updates to these that Microsoft has, likely Microsoft will override those. So let's see what we have here. So right now, I do have the power connection for the optical drive is still in there. What's not in there, however, is the, the SATA connection. So let's see, where did I put the SATA connection? Right here it is. I should say the data connection. So we have the data connection with the right angle. And I'm going to reconnect this, and in theory, this should be hopefully painless to, uh, to basically get the optical drive reconnected. And hopefully the optical drive was, I don't think the optical drive was causing our problem. I think that maybe it's probably more an issue of drivers, and it's an issue of um, the memory, the, the 16 gig of memory. So I think there may be an issue there. And hopefully the, the updated drivers will correct that and we'll have a stable system once we install. So we're going to test that. So right now, I'm just making sure my, my especially my SATA data cables, I want to make sure that they're securely in there. And of course the power connection, you want to make sure that's secure as well. So with that, we're going to turn this on again. And... Right now, I'm just mainly looking for it to boot up. I don't think there's anything in here. So that's the first thing I'm going to check. Okay, so there's nothing in there. That's great. We won't be booting off the optical drive. 
I want to see that we can get into Windows, and of course we can, so that's a good thing. Pause it. Boop. Okay, so we're going to basically install the MSI drivers. So I believe when we do this, it should do an auto load for us, and we should uh, be able to uh, install the MSI utilities. Now this is one of the easier things we have to do, hopefully. We're already showing that we ha we look like we have a stable system. Um, I usually like to... Um, so let's let the uh, optimal go. Here it is. So I'm going to say, let's run DVD setup. And we're going to say, yes, let it make changes to our system. I also usually like to um, turn on the task manager to monitor everything that's happening and put on more details so I can see everything that's happening. Okay, so I basically want to. Um, just do the drivers and software and probably utility, but we'll do the drivers and software first. So um, uh, product registration is probably going to have us go online, but we're not online yet. So let's do drivers, utilities, install. So certainly, we'll see what's going to happen here. It may be trying to get on the internet. I'm not on the internet, so we'll see whether or not this thing will work. It says waiting. So I'm wondering if this is just a, uh, okay, if everything is on the DVD drive itself, it will load it. If it has to go to the web, well, it's going to have to wait for now. So waiting, waiting, waiting. Stay, status not installed. I'm guessing, oh, oh, here we go. Okay, so the, it does have some, I would hope with the DVD, uh, it would have many of the uh, drivers actually on the DVD. But sometimes, of course, they'll look for updates on their site. But we're just not connected right now. So I'm going to leave internet connection to the last step once everything is set up. Okay, so this is probably going to take a while. You can probably pause it. Boop. Okay, so uh, this is going to take a while. So we're going to pause it. But the main thing is it is it is successfully installing the, um, the various... So as you can see, there are quite a few drivers that MSI supplies us with. And these were drivers that were not on our original installation. Whether you're doing Windows 10 or Windows 7, you have to realize that uh, there's going to be some uh, issues with drivers just simply because uh, you know MSI has a lot of new drivers. And this covers everything from the chipset, the Z170 chipset, the SVGA drivers, network, um, you name it, you can see the number of these. I don't even uh, know what they are without doing some research. Um, so, so it's understandable that you have to have to kind of use a, a reduced system before you can actually use the complete. Um, so at least I'm hoping right now that uh, uh, basically the second, once I put the second uh, uh, eight gig of RAM in there, that we won't have any problems because we'll have all the proper uh, drivers on here. So. Uh, and right now this is loading perfectly. I'm not seeing any system instability. This is acting as I would expect. It, it's looking it's looking more like an end um, you know an end user system with a, a normal installation process here. So we're gonna pause the pause again and basically uh, wait until we get through all these because this is gonna take a while. Oh. Okay, so you can see there's a number of uh, apps that that is installing as well. You know Google Chrome, Google Drive, and Norton Security. So obviously. Once you do install these things, I'm, I'm going to install everything initially. I may or may not keep Norton. I mean, it's up to you what what uh, internet or you know security you want to have, but you, you should have some kind of security. Otherwise, your your uh, super fast gaming system can become very very slow. But uh, obviously, you can shop around to see which is the best uh, uh, security suite for your your system. So the uh, initial um, driver and software update went pretty smoothly with the optical drive. So I know the optical drive is not part of our original problem. We're ready to reboot. So well, that was on, on, uh, Okay, so it wants us to register the product now, but of course we're not online. So we're going to do that later. Um, I'm just going to get rid of that for now. Um, we do want to go ahead and uh, install the other utilities, but we have a whole bunch of things that were just installed. It just did some kind of a um, assessment test of the system. That makes me kind of curious just to see if I can go to, um, see if we can find. 
because I know that Windows has a built-in. Um, let's see if we can find that. I don't know where they have that. Settings. System. Okay, so it's giving us a good overall view. So I'm not seeing the um, the overall how how it's rating the system. All right, you can pause it, Jojo. Go. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do here is install all the utilities that comes with the MSI. Um, of course, we have uh, Norton reminding us that we need to uh, sign up, but we're not ready for that yet. Um, this is going to take a while, so we're not going to cover all of this, but obviously it's a good idea to install. Um, and then we're going to kind of go through many of these things just to see what is actually useful. So I'm going to start. Okay, so my son tells me that we're overdoing this. This is the, the easy stuff, but I just want to make sure we cover the important parts, making sure we have the MSI drivers and we have the solid state uh, drive. The Samsung solid state drive also has some software we're going to install. And that's it for the basic install before we go online and get our Windows updates. So let's uh, load this. We're not gonna we're not gonna belabor this too much, but we're just gonna you know show that um, this likely has some software we need to run to keep our system stable. Um, I did see one problem after updating all the MSI stuff. So uh, you know, there's probably a, I'm hoping that this uh, uh, SSD update will actually help us. Um, prevent any other problems we've been seeing. So we do run, I guess we're going to run the navigator install. So you figure all this stuff was not on there when we were first. Um, you know, we, we were not, we were trying to install Windows before we even had this on the system. So obviously there could be some problems. So um, I'm just going to do install all now, even though at this point, you know, we have an existing system. I'm not sure if we're going to need to do data migration. That's if you are trying to migrate an existing drive to your SSD. Um, so I'm not so concerned about that, but I am concerned if, S if uh, Samsung has any drivers that helps Windows communicate with it better. So that's it.